Hello and welcome everyone to part 3 of this tutorial series in which I show you how to create realistic trees for games using the free software Treeit. The finished Unreal Engine project can be downloaded from the description below to help you if you get stuck somewhere or just want to use the tree assets or the win functions directly. The download has the full Unreal Engine 5.1 project as well as the exported trees. So if you skip the first two parts, you can use those assets to follow along. So let's start by creating a new empty level. And I will use this basic template. Create. And here it is. Let's create a new folder under content. This is always a good practice when you are importing stuff to have it neatly organized. Now let's drag our FBX that we exported to the Unreal content browser. We don't need to change a lot in the import options. Most of the default settings work, which is great. Just change this vertex color import option to replace and check combine meshes so that the leaves and all the parts of the trees are imported as one mesh. And also create new materials in the material import method. Select this option and click on import. You will see some warnings in the log from the import, but don't need to worry about it. Now let's drag the mesh to the scene and have a look at it. So the materials seem to be correctly applied to different parts and they need some work to look okay. And I can see that some textures are missing as well. So let's uh, import them as well. So grab the normal and the roughness for every texture set and palm bark and this one as well. And just import them. I didn't import the transmission map. You can use it and set up translucency for the leaves with subsurface scattering which will look great but for real-time applications like games i won't recommend it double click the tree mesh to open it in its own editor and you can click this highlight check to highlight different material parts of the mesh and see which material corresponds to which mesh area. You can enable Nanite for tree, so apply changes. And UA5 is supposed to be well optimized for Nanite. Also UE5.1 introduced support for Nanite foliage. So this will work well if you want to apply it using the foliage tools. I will disable it for now. Don't forget to save frequently. Let's start with the bark material, highlight it and first change the slot name bark1 and then go to the material in the content browser. You can use this button and it will take you to that material rename it also to bark1 and open it in the material editor so the material at the moment is only using the albedo or the diffuse color open your content browser using control space and let's drag these two normal and roughness textures so the palm 01 to our material attach the normal map RGB to the material BRDF and for roughness please note that 
at the moment tree it exports the full rgb channel 32 bit texture for roughness as well and for optimization that is not recommended to use it directly uh, you need to pack it with the normal for example so convert it to an 8 bit texture and pack it with normal or pack it with some other textures according to your project needs for now i will just use the r channel from it and connect it to the roughness input repeat the same for the stem so highlight this second material and change the name of the slot let's go to the material using this rose 2 button here it is use f2 and change the name double click to open it and let's drag the textures for it, it should be here this is the here it is let's connect the R channel from roughness and the RGB from normal let's do the same for the next material which is this structure I will name it bar 2 so change the name of the slot go to the material change the name there as well open it drag the textures which I believe are these ones so you can match the albedo with the normal if you're confused there connect the normal RGB and from roughness only the R channel and don't forget to save for the leaves material we will need to do some extra steps but first change the name of the slot leaves one change the name of the material just like before and let's open it in the material editor in your material properties change the blend mode to masked so that you can use the alpha cutout for the trees if you don't see these properties just click any empty uh, place on the material editor or click this big material node connect the alpha channel from the albedo texture to the opacity mask and now you can see the leaves are looking as they should also don't forget to check two-sided so that the leaves are rendered properly now let's get the normal and the roughness we will use this leaf one for it and connect them to their respective slots normal and for roughness just the r channel save it and then let's have a look at it in the editor and in the viewport and it's looking much better for the other set of leaves we will use the same material and we can use the material instance feature of unreal let's first change the slot name to leaves 2 open the leaves 1 material and convert all of these textures to parameters so right click and convert to parameter write the name accordingly so albedo and then roughness and in the end normal go back to the mesh editor and open the content browser by control space right click on the leaves one material and 
select create material instance and I always start the name of material instances with mi and this is mi leaves one which we will use for the healthier leaves create another material instance and rename it to mi leaves two and the original material we can rename to just leaves because it acts as a base material for all of them and apply this mi leaves 2 to the dead leaves material so the last slot and mi leaves 1 to the healthy leaves material let's now open the dead leaves material to apply the correct textures to it but i don't see the texture parameters at the moment and to correct that you need to go to back to the material and save it and that way unreal will compile it again and now in the material instance you can see it so check them so that you can change them and just open the content browser and drag the correct textures so this palm leaf 2 also the roughness and the normal hit save and go back to the editor and the viewport and this was it for setting up the materials uh, let me show you the great power of using tree it so let's also drag the other tree that we exported so palm underscore two dot fbx and import it to unreal and this time i will select to do not create material in the material options hit import let's drag the tree to the viewport and open it up in its editor and apply the materials to its material tabs the same materials that we created for the first tree so the first bark one the bark two to the third material if i remember correctly let's just highlight it to make it sure yes and then the leaves one and the second set of leaves and the stem in last so once the materials are set up you can use them with the other trees really quickly this is very optimized since the material and textures are completely shared between the two and what is really great is that you can go back to tree it and modify your tree a little bit to give it a new look and just export it and use it with your materials in unreal and this way you can create different trees for your scene really quickly and it's very well optimized because the trees use the same materials and textures i just want to do one last thing so let me drag the content browser a little bit and just change the names so use m at the beginning of all the materials so that they are easier to recognize and the stem too and this material is not being used so we can delete it and don't forget to save in the end so this is it for this part in the fourth and the last part i will create the wind effect for the tree and it will look something like this thanks for watching 
If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel to give me more motivation to create more videos like this.